Hello! Today we are on a road trip. We went to Bulu Belize and we want to show you um, Mule Idris. So, this is our ride for today. It's a very nice car. Okay. Okay. Some early drama this morning. We'll tell you more about it later. Hey, this is actually future me recording this video, and I just realized while I was editing that I didn't record the bit explaining what happened that morning. So the yesterday of this video, um we of course went around Fez and then we came back to our Airbnb um, inside the Medina of Fez. Everything was normal. Nothing felt different. Nothing felt like out of place. But then the next morning when I was going through my bag, I noticed something different. Like the placement of the things inside my bag was different. Number one, I know that this is my fault. Um, number two, I should have practiced mm, to be more careful. And number three, I shouldn't have left valuable things inside the room. But to think that I've been to a lot of Airbnbs before, that it would be like something that will never happen to me, happened. So I got robbed. I got robbed in Fez, Morocco. It, so, in in my um, in my passport case, I had some like souvenir money, you know, that you keep when you go to different countries. I had Philippine peso there, and I had two twenty dollar, uh, two twenty euros, and. Yeah, only one twenty euro was left. So I decided to gather all the money inside the um, passport case and I put it in a different pocket. Um, like, because there are the different slots in um, the the thing. But then it still felt, still felt weird. So I went through my bag again and I had a secret pocket where I kept an envelope where I had a, a bunch of paper printed like um, hotel reservations and itineraries and I put there uh, $500 for my pocket money for Turkey because when I read up on Turkey is that sometimes the immigration officer might ask you to present um, dollars um, amounting to your length of stay times a certain amount. I forgot what that amount is. So basically I had $500 there just for buffer and so that I have enough money to cover for my trip to Turkey, which was right after the Morocco trip. And only $400 was there. And I know for a fact that I didn't touch anything i know for a fact i didn't overspend and for the 20 dollar 20 euros to be gone from my passport case 
that I know I would never ever spend. I of course reported this to the Airbnb host. And by the way, the Airbnb host's um, profile was actually misleading um, because the photo, uh, the profile photo of the host was of a, a young woman versus the grandma that was actually the real um, host so minus for that and then um, the only person who speaks English in the household was a teenager boy that they got whenever they have visitors in the Riyadh so I showed them my passport case and the teenager boy was um, pointing towards the pocket where I kept the money but again I, I moved it so when I opened it of course nothing was there and then he was wide-eyed and I was like it was a dead giveaway that he was the one who who took the money but I didn't report it to the police I know it was another thing that I should have done because I have trust in humanity and it might have been my mistake even though I know that it's not. And the boy was guilty. And he was really adamant that we do not contact the police. Like, no, we don't need the police here, right? We don't need the police here. I actually have a video of the, like, the argument. But I can't find it for some reason. So I'll just leave it be. So I just wanted to explain... That in this um, recording and we didn't let it affect the rest of our day because we we're on a, a very special trip and far away from home. First time I've been to North Africa and first time that I traveled solo and I'm just glad that Kat was there to, to be my companion for the rest of the trip. And... Um, I just charged it to experience, I guess. But anyway, that's the story. And yeah, let's go back to the video. But right now, we are on our way to. Where are we going? Magnus! <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're going to. <laughs> Thank you. Asti. Asti. Asti.
How are you Hi. doing? <laughs> we are in Volubilis. Volubilis. It's a Roman ruin. We don't know the history. We just went here. And then after, we will go to Mule Idris and Meknes. Then back to Fez to eat some dinner. But so far, this trip has been good. What do you need to eat? <laughs> because we didn't have that much breakfast. Because my breakfast was not that good. <laughs> and I was not really happy. Yeah. Here, side 